Hey folks, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. Let's learn a tune by Bill Monroe called Jenny Lynn. So this tune is in the key of A major. So if you wanted to practice it with a drone, you would use an A drone. I also recommend warming up with the A major scale upper octave. If you know the lower octave, do that too. But we won't really use much of that. So I'm just gonna work through the tune. And before I do, I'll say that this is maybe a beginner version of the tune and I'm also going to do a lesson on a variation for this which uses double stops. Another kind of more syncopated bowing rhythms and things but for this I like to keep it very simple and we will do some simple hoedown bowing on this. Let's do the first half of the A part. I'll break that down even further, starting D1. Now we'll do the second half, the A part. Break it that down further as well. All right, so before doing the whole thing, I'll just point out that the, some bowing things I'm doing on the second bar slur two, slur two. That creates Ho down by doing those slur twos, we create a long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short. It's actually a good idea to integrate simple rhythms on an open string or a single note that along with more complex phrases. So we have this from the tune, the second bar. Now we can just extract just the rhythm out, strip away the melody and get back to the melody. That's actually a pretty powerful practice technique you can use with anything. When you have a tricky rhythm, once you get the part down, you really want to dive deep into the rhythm, take away the melody notes, take away the left hand if possible or just do one finger if, it's, if it, that is the best way to practice it. So, okay, so that's the A part. Now we'll get, maybe I'll play the whole A part slowly and then we'll move on. Here's the entire A part slow. then we will repeat that. Okay, moving on to the B part. Here is, so the A part I broke into halves, and the B part I'm gonna break into quarters because the A part's four bars long, B part's eight bars long, and so it just makes a little bit more sense to work in two bar chunks, okay? So here's the first quarter of the B part. broken down further. So for 
the slurs, I'm putting a little pause that you wouldn't really do if you are actually playing it. I just wanted to break it down for the left hand there. If you're actually playing it fluidly, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have any break in the slurs, so. Okay, cool. The second chord of the B part, I'll do it fast now once. I'll slow. Now broken down even further. Moving on to the third quarter, it's easy. If you've done the first quarter of the B part, it's exactly the same. Let's review it. Really good practice is to look for repetition in tunes. It helps if you can read sheet music. I have a Thing that I do on my website, Fiddlehead, which is I color code parts that repeat. You can do this on your own though. If you if you start to notice things that repeat, just take like a colored pencil or somehow identify the parts that repeat. But a colored pencil is nice. You can use red to circle things that the same piece you see that's red everywhere or whatever. It, it just helps the brain process these tunes so you can learn them more quickly and you can kind of get the gist of it more quickly. So we've done the first three quarters of the B part, now I'll slowly do the fourth quarter of the B part. Let's break it down even more for the left hand fingering. So, that's the entire tune. I think it's a great tune. By the way, I learned this tune from a fiddler who's not really a fiddler originally. His name is Tyler Childers, and he's a country singer. You Probably a lot of you already know about him. It's like old news, and you're like, oh dude, where were you? Yeah, I've been into him for years. But I just discovered him actually through his, he made this great album of fiddle tunes. It's a really cool album. It's like all fiddle tunes and then a song at the end, like one song at the end. It was the most interesting song, like album structure. But the, the, I don't know, there's something really nice about the tunes and the people he has playing on them. And it really, I've learned a whole bunch of the tunes. I hope to teach more of them. But anyway, and then with this one, Jenny Lynn, I also, as I was saying earlier, have, have I'm gonna preview for you a, variation version which goes a little like So that's going to use things like two finger double stops, some polyrhythms like three against four, um, and I have some fourth finger double stops, which are challenging. What else we got in it? Oh, and the Georgia shuffle on the B part. So stay tuned for that. That will be on the Fiddlehead site exclusively. And Thank you all for watching these videos. It's just been such a fun time teaching and like, it's been such an amazing journey. And the most recent thing that's really been cool is that I've been meeting a lot more of you through Zoom lessons and through emails and kind of like getting to know some of you and that's just made the journey even better. So thank you all and talk to you soon. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, 
play along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video club. Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.